Live from home, it's a Bulldog TV News special report. Good afternoon, Bulldogs. I'm Corey. And I'm Erin. Welcome to this week's Bulldog TV News special report. Our staff is assembled from their homes, so let's get to some messages. First off, congratulations to the seniors. Wednesday, May 20th, you walked the halls of Centennial one last time and finally cleared to graduate. Now, on May 29th at 3 p.m., you will graduate. Bulldog TV has seen you grow, I see you all grow up the past four years and know that you will all be very successful in any path of life. The graduation will premiere on the D60 VMO page and Comcast Channel 18. This year, Centennial has three faculty members retiring, Mr. Mead, Ms. Wahebe, and Ms. Sosa. Thank you for all the hard work and dedication you have had for Centennial. We have all enjoyed your classes. Underclassmen, you can still pre-order your yearbook. The number is now very limited, but there are still a few left. To buy a yearbook, go to Centennial's Facebook page or Centennial's website. Congratulations to Jesse Chavez for committing to play men's soccer at Eastern Oklahoma State this fall. And congratulations to Lainey, sorry if I butcher your last name, Vujicic for committing to play soccer at CSUP 2022. Underclassmen, finals will begin June 1st to June 3rd. Your clearance will start June 1st and go through June 3rd. In this time, you will be able to pick up your yearbook, clear your lockers, return Chromebooks and books, and turn in your uniforms. You must wear a mask to enter the building. You also are able to pay any fines that you have, but make sure to take the exact amount. If you are interested in playing a fall sport next season, please contact the coach with a way to get in contact with you and your name. For the coach's emails, please go to Centennial's website under the Athletics tab. Support your fellow Bulldogs and read some very well-constructed articles about your fellow classmates. Some articles are about how they have been dealing with quarantine or how it has impacted their lives. They've also released articles about many students around Centennial and their accomplishments. To find these articles, go to Centennial's website and click the Centennial Light tab. Now, let's check in with your weatherman. Here's Greg. Good day, Bulldogs. I'm Greg with your weekly weather update. Sunday, we're going to be starting off with a high of 67 and a low of 46. Monday, we're going to be warming up just a bit to a high of 69 and a low of 43. Tuesday, we're going to be going even higher than that to a high of 79 and a low of 50. And Wednesday, we're going to be finishing off with a high of 83 and a low of 52. Well, that's all I have for weather. Thanks, Greg. Now with Bulldog Entertainment, here's Tressa Torres. Hey Bulldogs and welcome back to Bulldog Entertainment. I hope your past week went well. For your movie of the week, we have Midnight in Paris starring Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson. A young writer goes on a before wedding honeymoon with his self-obsessed fiance when one night as he gets lost walking back to his hotel, he somehow gets sent to the past to meet all of his literary idols, such as F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ernest Hemingway, and even Cole Porter even though he was more musical than writing, but that's okay. Your song of the week is It Must Be Believed to Be Seen by Christian Borrow from the musical Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Actor of the week is Michael J. Fox. And actress of the week is Cameron Diaz. That's all I have for Bulldog Entertainment this week. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Stay safe and healthy. This is Tressa Torres, Bulldog TV. Corey? Thanks, Tressa. Now. With this week's sports story, here's Gabe Vigil. Hello Bulldogs, thank you again for joining us. With pretty much one of the greatest comebacks ever in the history of sports, legendary title holder and former undisputed heavyweight champion boxer Mike Tyson has announced that he is making a sudden comeback, possibly to the ring. He has announced, quote, to tell the whole world, I'm coming back. It is still unknown when the NFL will be able to return this coming season. The season is still set to start on September 10th this fall, but it is still being worked out on how fans will be able to attend games and events and how they'll be able to follow social distancing measures as well. That's all I have for now, Bulldogs. I send it over to Aaron. Thanks, Gabe. 
Now, with more on some interesting new trials being conducted by the MTA in New York City to prevent the spread of COVID-19, here's Lorenzo Roman with National News. recently resorted to using ultraviolet or UV lights in an attempt to disinfect public transportation such as subways and buses. Approximately 150 dual-headed mobile devices from a startup in Denver called Pure Lighting will be used experimentally in rail yards and stations to test their effectiveness. Once this is completed, the UV lights will be used on the Long Island Railroad and Metro North computer lines. Dr. David Brenner, director of the Center of Radiological Research at Columbia University, said, quote, what we are doing here is reducing the level of the virus in subways and therefore decreasing the risk of anybody catching COVID-19 on the subway, end quote, during a news release on behalf of the Metropolitan Transit Authority, also known as the MTA. This is definitely an interesting new development in innovative ways to combat the virus, so it will be exciting to see how the trials turn out in the coming weeks. That's all I have this week for National News. I'm Lorenzo Roman, Bulldog TV. Corey. Thanks, Lorenzo. Now, with this week's Sources of Strength segment, here's the Centennial High School Counseling Department. My name is Heather Ward from Centennial Sources of Strength. I am wearing this mask because this week we are focusing on medical access and mental health access. The challenge for the week is to post pictures of you wearing your mask and send them to our counselors so they can post it on our social media. Also, be sure to give shout outs to everyone in the medical and mental health field because they are our heroes. Have a great week Bulldogs, stay healthy, and remember to stay positive. Back to you Erin. Now let's sip some tea, here's Ashley and Miranda with Hollywood Gossip. Bulldogs. Hey Bulldogs, so get this, Kendall Jenner is being sued. The star is being told to return 90k of the 275k that was, that was used to make her fry fest, which became a disaster. Oh geez. Listen up Bulldogs. So the famous singer Justin Bieber, this guy has a sister, right? Okay, so her 12th birthday just happened and he had all his A-list celebrity fans send her happy birthday wishes like through video. What a lucky girl. Okay, so remember when we talked about how rich Ed Sheeran was last week? Well, get this. He literally just paid for his whole new house in cash, and the house costs $70 million. Must be nice. Now, hey guys. Now, I all bet you guys remember the lynching and murder of Ahmaud Aubrey, and I hope he gets the justice he deserves, but sadly, a video of him was just released showing him shoplifting from Walmart, but it was three years ago. So if any of you are still interested in his cause, visit www.runwithmod.com or sign the petition online. And, and that's the Tea Bulldogs. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley and Miranda. That's all we have for you this week, but we'll, be, we'll see you back here next week with our ninth special report. Please remember to stay safe and healthy, and from all of us here at Bulldog TV, stay, stay classy, Bulldogs. Bulldogs.